Hello and welcome back to my second art journal process video. Um, I'm working at night in this journal, in this entry, so I'm sorry about the lighting, it's not the best. Um, but all I'm doing here is I'm mixing up some paints and I'm just going to go in and start painting straight away. I don't know if I um, put gesso down or anything first for this page, but yeah, I'm going in with a dark black um, paint which I added some blue to, and um, that's going to be my background. So I did have an idea of, a basic idea of what I wanted to do for this page, and um, I'm just kind of seeing, seeing where it takes me. So the first step for me was just to add black to the entire page, and I'm using an acrylic paint. I'm just using that paper to cover the opposite side of the page so that it's nice and neat. Um, I'm using a sponge as well to paint it. And then I'm going to set that aside and let it dry. So while that's drying I'm going to pull out a drawing that I did previously of a little baby asleep and I'm going to um, go over it with pen so I'm using a micron pen to um, add the details to it and this drawing was inspired by a illustration from a children's book so because I'm just getting back into my art getting back into drawing I haven't drawn for so long I like to use references to draw um, it is really 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 helpful um, to get proportions and um, expressions and stuff. It's just really helpful to have a reference when you're learning. So that's all I'm doing here. Okay, so now that I have finished adding the details with pen, I'm just taking my eraser and I am rubbing out all the little pencil lines um, from my first little skit. Okay, so now we're going to the page that I've let dry and I've got this white pen and I'm just going to add a border first around it and I'm just doing, just doing it... Um, imperfectly so it doesn't have to be perfect this pen is kind of frustrating to use because it, it'll work and then it just stops working like midline which you can see it did but I just continued with it anyways and finished the border so so then I started adding dots all over the page because this is going to be a night sky and so I'm just doing lots of little dots with the white pen everywhere all around the page really randomly. And I don't think I dot the entire page because I know that you're only going to be able to see the top half of it when I'm finished because I know roughly what I want to do with the with the rest of it so just dotting away <laughs> and then um, and then I'm going to draw some stars so just some really quick simple little stars with the same pen not too many just enough And now I'm taking some shimmer spray and I'm just going to spritz that page a fair bit to add some more star, starry effects, some nice little um, glistening sky. <laughs> and I just made sure I covered the opposite page. So I allowed that to dry and then I came back and now I'm going to cut out my little drawing that I did earlier. So... 
Um, I'm just cutting it not perfectly, especially because the the hair and the face and there's like little fine lines that are really hard to cut around for me anyway. So I'm not cutting it perfectly. And I cut off the blanket because what I'm going to do is create my own blanket, which is kind of the whole point of the page and um, what my original idea was to do because I thought it would be fun. So, just finishing up cutting. Okay, so now I'm taking the baby and I'm going to start making a blanket. So I'm going to use lots of different scraps to make the baby's blanket. And um, this is going to be the, the main part of the blanket. So I'm just going to take a pencil and I'm going to trace the shape of the baby at, along the bottom where the blanket cut off. I hope that makes sense. But I'm going to trace it onto the back side so that when I cut that out, it will sit um, nicely up against the drawing of the baby like a blanket. So I'm just going to cut that out and I just extended the line so that it would be long enough to fill the page and um, then I'm just going to use my pencil to mark how wide the blanket needs to be to fill the page so that's all I'm doing there and then trim it down with my scissors, it doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to fit and then you can see the blanket starting to take shape already. But what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to pull out a bunch of scraps that I have. So paper scraps and fabric scraps. And I'm just going to cut them down into little squares that are, they're not all the same. I just eyeballed it so they're, um, they're not perfect. But they work. So a couple of different pattern papers from my scrap drawer and some scraps of fabric just to add different textures and patterns so I want to make it like a little patchwork quilt I have made um, two blankets for my boys so one each um, and they're patchwork um, patchwork quilts so I'm not a sewer at all and it was super hard but that's kind of why I'm doing the patchwork here because to me it's kind of symbolic of my own children and stuff so that's why I wanted to do this page. So I'm just going to continue to cut out all the little squares um, until it fills um, the bottom half of the page so so that I can cover up those um, that like checkered pattern. Okay, so now we're going back to the journal and I'm going to start gluing the pieces down. So all I'm going to do is um, glue in the baby first and just kind of center it on the page and then I'm going to glue that main piece of blanket over the top so that it looks um, looks like a blanket so it covers up that space I end up just overlapping it just a little bit like a blanket and gluing that down and then I'm just going to do the same thing with all the little scraps um, the little squares that I cut out as well so I'm going to use PVA glue to stick them down because some of them are heavyweight paper 
and some of them are fabric. Um, but before that, I'm just going to do a little drawing of the top piece of the blanket. You know, the piece that like folds over. <laughs> and then, um, then I'm going to start adding the pieces. So before I glue them, I'm just laying them out to see if it's going to work. Like if I need to sit them neatly against each other, do I need to overlap them? And I end up just overlapping them and kind of putting some of them on an angle because I don't want it to be like perfect squares because I want it to look like the blanket was a bit rumpled up and that you like add a bit of movement to the to the blanket if that makes sense. So now I'm adding my PVA glue. I know some people go, what is PVA glue? Like, where do you get it? If you're in Australia, you get it at Bunnings or lots of other shops. It's like a wood glue. In other countries, I'm not sure if they call it something else, but basically it's a wood glue. And it's, um, you can use it for wood or you can use it for fabric, you can use it for paper. Um, it's really versatile, so that's why I like to use it. It's just my, um, my favourite glue and it's a wet glue, so it just, it works really well, it's really strong. So that's what I'm doing here, and yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and finish off sticking down the blanket. Also, I'm just being random with like the patterns. I'm not like planning it out. I'm not spacing them out perfectly. I'm just kind of laying down what looks nice to me. Obviously, I don't want two of the same patterns sitting next to each other or anything. Um, but I'm just being kind of random with it. It's not planned at all. And I think the video cuts, so I'm sorry. But I just overlapped them over the page. And then once um, they're all stuck down, I just trim the page back down. To its original size so it looks nice and neat around all the edges. Okay so there's the finished look. I did put the glue over the top to seal all the little extra corners that were poking up and then I allowed that to dry. So that's basically the finished page but on the opposite page I'm just going to add some journaling. So this is actually a quote that I found on Pinterest that was super cute and just super relative, um, particularly for my three-year-old, but I thought it was just so cute. So I, I used that as my journaling for this page. I laid the fabric down just because I wasn't sure if um, the opposite page was 100% was dry and I didn't want to like, I don't know, make it like dirty or smudged or anything, so I just covered it. Um, and now I'm just putting the quote down so I fast forward this because it's quite long and then um, I'm just going to add a border to the drawing to the uh, the page as well eventually maybe not yet I think actually what I'm doing is I've gone to find something to stick down the bottom I liked that piece out of a magazine because it had like it reminded me of a quilt but I don't end up using it for this page. I just use this little floral piece from a book, a book page that I had. And I'm just going to cut that out and glue that down along the bottom. Just for a little bit of um, extra interest because it was so plain underneath that journaling. I wasn't sure how much room the journaling was going to take. So just using my glue stick again to stick that down. And now I'm going to add um, the border around the shape of that page because it's super pretty. And that's all I really do for, for this page, I believe. So, yeah, if you've watched this far, thanks for sticking around. I hope you enjoyed the process. And if you have any questions, just leave me a comment. Um, yeah, see you next time.